If I was to freeze frame average club golfer and average tour pro in two parts of their golf swings and try and play the world's easiest game of spot the difference, it would be in the extension phase of a golf swing. It would be quite easy for a club golfer to mimic a tour pro at setup, even in the backswing. But through the golf ball, that's often where the difference lies between your really top players and your average club golfers or those with less experience. And that's because we see that from a, a good address position, turning through the golf ball, the pros will often be in a position like this, really open with the lower body, really driving off that trail foot, straightening and extending through that lead side, and then big stretch of the arms extension and a little bit of rotation of the club face. So we hit through impact and we freeze frame this position, extension, rotation, and release. And then we look at average club golfer, maybe not as mobile around the hips, maybe having a tendency to look up and see where the golf ball goes, maybe scared of using the wrist and releasing, which keeps the club face very open through impact. And we'd often see this position, very little hip rotation, collapsing the legs, maybe even left knee doing this, lead knee doing this, elbows miles apart, glove visible from the camera, open club face. So if you're this guy, Let's try and work on getting through to this guy a little bit more. So let's break those component parts down. The first one is you must rotate your trunk. You must rotate your core. If you're not rotating from your core and your trunk, you simply can't get into the right position. Consider this, if I stand square, don't release my hips, I do this with my arms, I can't really move my arms any further unless this one breaks. I certainly couldn't get around to a good follow through an extension position. However, if I turn my trunk, my arms get there quite naturally, quite comfortably. So this has to keep turning through impact. Easiest way for that is belt buckle to target. Remember that, write it on your glove, stick a note in your golf bag, whatever you have to do to remember that belt buckle to target. Swing to the top, belt buckle to target, solves a huge amount of your problems in that releasing phase. Next thing to focus on is imagine that you are scared of your glove. You want that glove to stay away from your body. You do not want your glove to be into your body at any point during the golf swing. You want that glove to be away from your body the whole time. The only time it comes in is right at the end, it bends and finishes behind your head. But certainly in the dynamic phase of the golf swing, your glove should be away from you. So that's your lead hand pushed fully away. Put those two movements together, we've now got turning of the hips, we've now got extension of the arms. And the last key point here is here, or here, releasing or not releasing. We want the club to release. We've cocked the golf club into a good position on the way back. We want to release that on the way through. Great simple tip to feel release, pop your feet together, swing the golf club back so it's at an L shape here, swing the golf club through so it's at an L shape here. Both hands on, L shape to L shape. That is releasing the golf club. So releasing the golf club, keep it happening. Now widen the stance, keep turning the hips, and now keep extending. Now we get the golf club coming into a great through the ball position. The hips are open, the arms are extended, and the club is being released. And that should give you a really dynamic impact position instead of the hips stopping, no release, bendy arms, which is the old classic bad one for those golfers that really struggle to strike the ball well. Maybe they're slicing the golf ball too much. So good address position, good release through the ball, there's my extension, there's my release, there's my rotation of the golf club. And if I can get into that position through impact, I should start to see that the game of spot the difference between the average golfer and the tour player starts to look a little bit more similar because we're both better through the golf ball.